Hi there, it's Tim. With Far North Magic, we're doing another Crimson Vow draft box. Um, I find these actually uh, very, like some, for the most part, consistent. There were, have been some ups and downs, but overall, um, kind of get a baseline. It's not, definitely not worth it if I was paying the full price. I got the, these on sale. And uh, just kind of how it is. Um, I'm kind of surprised at how stuff has rebounded, but it's just how it is. Oh, we got another Tormented, uh, the Delusional Minion, which is the Alruth. Tormented Prophet. So, uh, don't think that one's worth a whole lot of anything. I think a lot of the, the box toppers aren't. I think, like, what the. There's, is there a Soren box topper? That might be a couple dollars. I don't know. Um, definitely. Um, Looking to get a slug, and then hopefully we can get some other cool stuff while we're at it. We got by invitation only as the first rare, and uh, so definitely um, interesting set because it got beat down so bad. But oh, we got a hopeful initiate. That's uh, definitely one of the decent rares. Sure, it's not a $10 rare, but still pretty solid rare. Uh, and those are the ones that like help make you make your box or not. So we've got a Lantern Flare and a Swamp. So like if you if you have sets where it's all just like the two big rares are bust or just a couple mythics are bust, you're just going to have a really bad time. Most of the time opening, you're going to get uh, very big uh, swings and I personally rather have a bit more of a lower uh, ceiling to have a bit of a higher floor, hopefully. Splendid Reclamation. Now we got Whispering Wizard as a foil. So. Like, I guess like big stakes would be the uh, would be doing the collectors, but I guess I just find it hard with some of them because the uh, it just doesn't seem worth it. We got Catilda. Donhart Martyr as the rare. I think that rare is actually a couple dollars. At least the last time I looked it was. Maybe it's a different one. Was there two Catildas? Maybe. Hey, there's a Maniform Hellkite. Uh, for the most part, I like to avoid red mythics. Uh, but sometimes the dragon's fair well we got nature's embrace as a foil um like a lot of the time the dragons do well but then like they pr put them in a challenger deck or they reprint them somewhere else and then they become well once they follow the standard they're not as good anyways kind of uh helena and alina partners in the showcase and uh I guess it's interesting to see uh, Crimson Vale get a little bit of love with the reboot of Standard and that not getting kicked out of Standard. We got Dollhouse of Horrors. Hey, we got the slug. That's like probably more than this mythic, the dragon. Definitely crazy that it's uh, 
as well, I don't want to say as rare as it is, but we got Dying to Serve as the rare. Oh, we got the uh, Omnivore in foil. Oh boy. The frogs are coming. Did they do a, a Sultai a frog commander yet? Because I would think that you'd want to have like all the frogs, but like if you do just Simic, then you miss out frogs. And then if you do, uh, frig, the green black one, you miss out on frogs too. It's kind of a downer. We got Hurt, uh, Hive Hurt Shaman. So, I don't know. I'm gonna have to maybe look at that. I'll probably forget. <laughs> oh, Mirror Hall Mimic. Gas, ghastly Mimicry. Mimic Cheat. Uh, mimic. Uh, yeah. Can't do it. I'm gonna not do it. Creeping Puppeteer. The forest gift of the gift of fangs as foil. One way to get me to play arena: take these stupid arena things and get rid of them. Put pro, uh, pack coats. Oh, we got the tormented prophet. So this is our would be the. The box topper. Well, it's the box topper. So interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, cat guys. We got the alchemist gambit. Okay. So we haven't hit any lands yet, which makes me worried makes me worried a little bit uh blood vile purveyor oh we got a catilda dawnheart martyr in the foil i think that might be good it's probably worth less than the non foil <laughs> oh they really gotta i don't think we'll ever fix that Oh, Edgar Charmed Groom. That's actually a couple dollars there. Well, at least a couple dollars in Canada. That's, I think, the other thing is, like, I look at stuff and go, I can't understand the pricing in, in the States. Uh, okay, another Savior of Olenbach. Okay, I'm pretty sure the slug is beating that on value. I don't think that's good mythic for value at least. No, oh my luck, it will be one that pans out if I get rid of it. We got Olivia's attendance. that's going to be what happens all the time you buy a card it's going to go down you sell a card it's going to go up every time patchwork crawler oh we got the fearful villager and a fearsome werewolf okay uh welcoming vampire Definitely was a pretty solid rare until they reprinted it, but still probably two bucks. One, two bucks? I don't know. I don't mind rares like that, though, at least. Because those add up and... Hey, there's a Olivia Crimson Bride. I don't think I opened one of those yet. It's a pretty hard mythic to open, at least for me. Rending Flames as a foil. I don't know. Uh, 
I'm just being silly. Okay, what do we got? Oh, concealing curtains. Oh, and we got vampire. Was this a good vampire? I think this was a good vampire token, actually. There was one of the vampire tokens that was pretty big. One of the spirit tokens that was a big the human token. Then there was one other token. Path of Peril. I don't know. Very decent set for weird stuff. Like there was commons that are worth uh, looking at. There's uh, tokens mainly. Like I, I, I. Audric Blood Cursed in the showcase frame. We get Chill of the Grave and a wolf. Okay, so we are doing really bad. <laughs> Holy cow. This is one of those catastrophically bad boxes. I'm going to almost have to think that they repacked it. Helena and Alina Partners. Okay. I don't know, man. I think this is like one of those boxes that makes it you like question your like why am I even doing this? Oh, we got a Olivia Crimson Bride in the showcase frame. So that's a nice mythic at least. I don't think it's a huge mythic. Like there are multiple, there are several other mythics that are uh, better value. Oh, we got the Runo Stormkirk in the showcase. And Lord of the Deep. Sheltering Burrows as a foil. Okay, so we got a token slug. But you can't have lands. I would just prefer the lands instead then. The voice of the blast. This box is a pretty big one. Yikes so far. Uh, Kessig Wolf Rider. Um, yeah, I don't know. Unless we get something crazy in these last few packs. I'm thinking we're done for on this box. Consuming Tide. Parish Blade Trainee. Holy cow. I didn't think this was a real thing. Like, I thought that box was fake. Like... We did get one other box that was no lands. We got Glorious Sunrise. But we at least got, like, caught up on the lands. It was crazy. And so far, I don't think we're, like, ahead on what would be from this group. Oh no, the Hawking Inspector in the Showcase frame. Then Hawking's Insight. Okay, uh, most common mythic. Like that, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that mythic. Like, we just get that mythic all the time. Is that like the Volo of this set? <laughs> uh, Demonic Bargain. Okay, three left. We are definitely not making the value on this box. I don't think there's any chance. We got Welcoming Vampire in the showcase. And then Griffin, Griffwing Caval, Cavalry, Cavalry. Okay. Got a Angie made of disorder. Okay, you guys got me. This is why you should never buy this product. Just never buy it. Just don't. Just don't waste your money. 
Okay, last pack. Should have been trashing it all the way through. Okay, well, that makes up for it a little bit, but we're still probably uh, catastrophically bad. Uh, we did we did get some of the other rares, like the welcoming vampire level rares. Like they're not completely bulk; they're like in that like one two dollar range, which are rares you need to help build help make your box. Like without those, you're not going to make your box. Still, even if you get the few good cards, so uh, it was nice to see some of them. But getting only one land, sure, it's a Sad, uh, shattered Sanctum, but like one land alone is just a really bad feel for this box. Uh, we did get like a couple Catildas and Hopeful. Um, so, as I say, like we did not terrible on the rares. Like, I would have liked to see. Um, there's that one rare. Um, the announcement, wedding announcement. Um, Hullbreaker Horror type, well, Hullbreaker Horror is not worth a huge amount, but, uh, just is what it is. Uh, we got five Mythics, uh, two Olivias, so, like, those are probably the two better ones out of the group. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes the dragons are worth something, but I don't remember if that one is. We did get a slug. That is uh, the one of the saving, redeeming things of this box. Although, like the slug alone won't carry a box. Like the box was a uh, hundred Canadian, and the slugs I don't know, probably ten dollars <laughs> Canadian. Knowing how dumb this uh, setup is, but um, big help, but not something that carries the box like you can't count on the slug alone because it's not every box even but i guess we'll just have to keep going on and uh try and average us out and do hopefully better a lot better on the other ones and then we'll be back to the averages and that's all that counts thanks again for stopping by i hope you have a good rest of your day take care and